Over the years, we've seen some pretty amazing gimmicks. Mankind, Kane, The Undertaker, Mr. Perfect, the list goes on. However, there's bound to be some not so great characters in there as well. This list will cover the very worst gimmicks in the history of wrestling. Before he was the Big Red Machine, or the Devil's Favorite Demon, Kane was a dentist. Real name Glenn Jacobs, the Giant played a few other roles before becoming Kane, the worst of which was Dr. Isaac Yankum, a sadistic dentist. Yankum was brought in by Jerry Lawler in 1995 to help him deal with Bret Hart, but didn't find much success. There were a few segments where the doctor would violently drill into the mouths of his patients, but nothing too memorable. This gimmick quickly faded away, but luckily from it would emerge Kane just two years later. Possibly the only gimmick younger WWE fans remember seeing on TV, the Boogeyman was the company's attempt at a horror character. He would crawl around the ring, make weird faces and sounds, and even eat live worms. With this scary face paint and weird antics, the character looked like he was from a circus rather than a horror movie. This was exactly why the character evolved into a comedic gimmick, as even the announcers would laugh whenever they saw the Boogeyman. It also didn't help that he wasn't very good in the ring, yet he somehow managed to last in the WWE for a decent while. The Mantar is what you get when WWE creative just says f it. Based off the Minotaur of Greek mythology, the Mantar closely mimicked the half bull half man of legend. This included a move set consisting of charging, headbutting, mauling, and worst of all, mooing. Yes, this grown man would moo at the crowd in an effort to hype them up. Mantar would be part of both the 1995 Royal Rumble and King of the Ring, but his career ended up failing miserably. WWE even acknowledges how bad this gimmick was by referencing Mantar in a comedic light. One of the funniest gimmicks in recent memory, Dwayne Gill played the infamous Gilbert, a knockoff of the ferocious Goldberg meant to show the original was not to be feared. Gilbert, a jobber until the very end, played a hilarious imitation of Goldberg by copying all of his mannerisms and even his entrance, which featured pyrotechnics and a security detail, albeit with some differences. At one point, he even held the light heavyweight championship. As with most comedic gimmicks though, this one eventually died out, but it was hilarious while it lasted. If you remember Chavo Guerrero, you probably remember Kerwin White. You may have suppressed the memory given how cringeworthy the gimmick was, but you remember nonetheless. Apparently Chavo decided to renounce his Hispanic heritage and transform himself into a stereotypical white American man. For some reason, this meant blonde hair, a receding hairline, and an obsession with both golf attire and the sport itself. He would even come down to the ring in a golf cart with his caddy who we now know as Dolph Ziggler. The gimmick lasted until his uncle Eddie Guerrero died in 2005, after which he reverted back to his former self. Donning a stormtrooper mask that was painted over and covered in glitter, the Shockmaster was heavily hyped and was set to be an integral part of a Sting storyline in WCW. The funny thing about masks though is sometimes they impede your vision. When the Shockmaster was finally introduced by Sting, he broke through a nearby wall to make a grand entrance, but instead tripped over some debris and lost his helmet. Suffice to say, everybody was shocked when the mysterious Stormtrooper lost his helmet on day one, revealing who he was. The character was never taken seriously by fans, and after failing as a comedic gimmick, the Shockmaster was dropped. Unlike the Shockmaster, this gimmick just never had a chance. For months, there was a giant mysterious egg that would appear on WWE television, and on Survivor Series in 1990, it finally hatched. Out came, wait for it, a giant dancing turkey. Gobbledygooker, as he was called, was played by Hector Guerrero, a man from a great wrestling family, but instead, he did nothing more than dance with Mean Gene. The fans promptly and loudly booed the horrendous gimmick. The worst part about this one though was that fans were actually excited for the unveiling after months of anticipation only to be slapped in the face when the egg finally hatched. And those are the worst gimmicks in wrestling history. As always if you enjoyed this one please leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also don't forget to leave some suggestions for future videos down below.